Hello everyone. So today we are talking about respect and I'm going to show you a few signs that your horse is not respectful of you and then also give you some tips for what you can do about it. So as much as we love our horses, they are very big and they can hurt us. And so it's really important that they are respectful of us and of what we ask them and of our space so that we don't end up getting hurt. So if you are excited for this video, give me a thumbs up. If you think your horse respects you, let me know in the comments. And also check out the description. I have a free mini course on confidence. So if you're struggling with confidence, be sure to check that out. So this is Kensington and he's actually a very respectful horse. So we'll see how he does with this. But I'm just gonna go a few, through a few things that you can do to test out whether your horse is respectful of you or not. So one of the first things is, you know, just when you're on the ground with your horse, when you're grooming your horse, is there's a few things that you can do to test whether or not they're respectful. The first thing is that when you're moving from side to side and grooming your horse, I'm gonna pick up my curry comb here, um, but like if I step down the side of him and I'm gonna start grooming him to on the left side, I want him to move over to the other side of the cross ties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step down here. I'm gonna kind of put a little pressure just with my fingers where my leg would be and you see him move over to the right there. It's important when you do this to kind of tip your horse's head a little towards you and then apply the pressure to get them to move over. So let me show you that from the other side. A lot of times when your horse isn't respecting you, you kind of go down the side and and you're like literally having to like whack them and whack them and they will not move over so this is just a good test of respect is like hey move over and make space for me and then once they've made space for you then you can start curring them and brushing them and you know really loving on them because you do you know you want to cur you want to love on your horse you want to bond with your horse but it has to be within this respect so just next time when you're grooming your horse, test this out. If you can just ask them to move away from you, good boy, in the cross ties. And this is all about pressure and release. So I put a little pressure, I say move over, good boy. When he moves over, I release. Good boy, good boy. So that's the first thing. Now another thing where I see is a big test of respect is when you ask your horse to pick up their foot. And a lot of times when your horse isn't respecting you, I'll see people that they're like pinching and shoving and like laying into the horse and the horse is not moving over, not picking up their foot. So this is another place where you really wanna teach your horse to give to pressure. Um, what's really important is if you're gonna pick up your horse's foot, like you can see right now how he has all of his weight on his left front foot and he basically has no weight on his right front foot. You see how his right front foot is like kind of moving a little bit. So if I wanted to pick up his left front foot, the first thing that I need to do is I need to shift his weight to the right front foot. And again, this is about respect. So if I put pressure on him is that I need to be able to get him to shift his weight. You saw how he shifted his weight to his right front and then picked up his left front momentarily. So this again, it's about pressure and release. There, so I push him over to that right front and then when he, when he picks up his left front, I release. And so now he's in a position where if I were to slide down his leg, of course he has wraps on, so you don't usually pick their feet when they have wraps on, but you slide down his leg, give him a little pinch and then ask him to pick up his foot. So. That's the second place that you can really test whether or not your horse is respecting you. And then another place that's really key is asking your horse to put their head down. And this is a big test of respect and also submission because horses, when they're afraid or when they're distracted, they put their head straight up in the air so that they can see more. It like opens up their field of vision when they put their head down, they have to really trust you and they can't like look around as much. So one thing that I do every time when I catch my horses, when I go to put the bridle on, 
my horses is I ask them to drop that head down. And the best way to do this is you're going to put one hand on your horse's pole on the top between their ears. This is the pole and then another hand on the front of your halter. And you're just going to apply a little bit of pressure and ask that horse to slowly drop their head. So you see how every time I put pressure, his head drops. I put a little pressure again, his head drops down. So this is really, I think, one of the biggest signs that your horse is respecting you and your horse is trusting you. Good boy. And if you're having trouble with this, like if you can't get your horse to put their head down, then you sometimes what you can do is you can like if you're putting pressure and they won't put their head down put go a little side to side like this and keep applying the downward pressure and again it's all about pressure and release so teaching respect is about applying a pressure and when you get what you want release so it's about pressure release ask him to put his head up again so pressure release pressure release pressure release good boy good boy so one final let me get my rope halter stay there good boy so one final thing about teaching your horse respect is that it starts on the ground and it carries over to under saddle so if you feel like your horse isn't respecting you under saddle I would really recommend starting getting your horse more respectful of you on the ground. This is a rope halter and whenever I'm doing groundwork or working my horse on the ground, I like to use the rope halter because it's much more effective than one of these thick web halters because it's much narrower and it also has these knots that go right on the pressure points of your horse's head. So I'm gonna put the rope halter on him and then a couple of simple things that you can do to get your horse more respectful of you on the ground. We're gonna just go over here in the parking lot. Come on, buddy. Okay, so the first thing that is a big sign of respect is about your personal space. And I see a lot of times that horses are always like crowding into people's personal space, pushing on top of them, pushing them away. Not only is this rude and disrespectful, like if someone just like came up and like shoved their head into your belly, you would probably think that was really rude. So it's disrespectful, but it's also unsafe because if your horse gets worried or nervous and they come into your space or try to step on you, then you could end up getting hurt. So a really good thing to practice on the ground is just seeing if you can like see how he came towards me there is see if you can get your horse to move out of your space. So what I did there is when you want your horse to move out of your space, you want to kind of make yourself bigger. See how I lifted up my hands and I sent energy towards him to get him away from me. So, no, you stay back there. So notice how now there's more space between me and him. And he should stay back there and maintain that space until I ask him to come towards me. So that's really important is that your horse needs to feel okay back there. They don't need to come on top of you all the time to kind of have that sense of security. So again, if I step towards him and send that energy, he should back away from me like so. So that's a big sign of respect and, and that's very natural. Like when horses are in a field together and the dominant horse comes up to the submissive horse and kind of even just pens their ears a little, the submissive horse moves away. So you really want to have that respect where your horse is thinking that you're the dominant horse. You're a good boy. And then like it, once your horse is, is respectful and submissive, then of course go, you know, and pet your horse on the face and reassure him a little bit. And, and you don't want them to be afraid of you, 
but you do want them to really be respectful of you. Good boy. You're a good boy. So another place that you can work on this respect is by getting the hindquarters to move away from you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start by making a circle with him. And when I step towards his hindquarters, I want his hindquarters to move away from me. So as I'm going here, now as I step towards his hindquarters, you see how his hindquarters are moving away from me. So I'm stepping towards him and he's moving away from me. Good boy. Good boy. And same thing the other way. I'm going to start by just kind of leading him in a circle around me. Notice how I'm, I'm not backing away. I'm stepping towards him. Good boy. And getting him to move away from me. So I'm stepping towards him, getting him to move away from me. Good boy. Good boy. And then I also, with a rope halter, I like to test that I can get him to just softly put his head down and then give him a little scratch. So I hope that these tips have helped you to kind of assess whether or not your horse is respectful of you. And then to just give you some little simple things that you can do in your day-to-day -day routine with your horse to get them more respectful. Because when your horse is respectful of you, it is so much nicer to be around them. And it's also really important for safety and also so that you have a good ride when your horse is respectful. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out in the description below and sign up for our free mini course on confidence.